Welcome to the Washington Stormwater Center's video series on innovative stormwater treatment BMPs for businesses covered under Washington's Industrial Stormwater General Permit. Today's topic, downspout treatment devices to reduce zinc from roofs and downspouts. When it rains, stormwater collects pollutants such as pesticides and fertilizers from yards, oil, grease and dirt from streets and parking lots, and heavy metals, including zinc and copper from industrial areas. These pollutants are carried, untreated, directly to the nearest water body. Many of our water pollution problems are due in large part to pollutants that are washed off the land by storms. When small amounts of pollutants from many sources are combined, they can cause big water quality problems. Galvanized metal roofs and downspouts are a common source of zinc pollution in stormwater. Other sources include chain link fences, tires, and motor oil. Zinc from stormwater harms fish and other aquatic life. Zinc can bind to fish gills and cause suffocation. In some areas, rooftops can also collect airborne pollutants including heavy metals associated with brake pads and tire dust. At the Port of Vancouver, Washington, here on the shores of the Columbia River, they're using a creative method for treating runoff from roofs and downspouts. They call it the Gratix. We call it innovative, inexpensive, and effective for zinc removal. The Port of Vancouver is covered under the Washington State Department of Ecology's Industrial General Stormwater Permit. That permit limits the amount of zinc that we can discharge in our stormwater to 117 parts per billion, which is quite a challenge in an industrial setting. We dreamt up a low-cost, innovative solution uh, that used sustainable materials. What we ended up doing was taking a food-grade plastic 250-gallon container and basically built a bioretention system that we could scoot right under our downspouts. The port uses recycled and reusable materials when building the treatment boxes and can build them for around $200. They are made from industrial polytotes that are salvaged from a port tenant at no cost. These would otherwise be thrown away and is a savings to the tenant in landfill fees. Other materials used to build the Gratix include inexpensive and easily accessible ingredients. Inside the tote, we place a base layer of drain rock. A perforated PVC underdrain piping system is then installed and topped off with more rock. To prevent these bottom layers from mixing, we then insert a large sheet of window screen material. On the screen, we pour in a bed of pea gravel and spread it out evenly. A second screen is placed on the gravel. The top of the mini detention system consists of an amended soil that is comprised of 60% sand and 40% compost. We then put in our plantings and space them evenly. At the top, we pour in a couple inches of bark mulch. Lastly, we arrange several large stones to disperse the runoff from the downspout. Basically, the Gratix functions just like a rain garden in a box. The plants we chose for the Gratix is a combination of rushes and sedges, and we chose these plants because they can dry out in the summer months, but also can withstand ponding in the winter months. The plants use the dissolved metals in their photosynthesis process. During our pilot study program from 2008 to 2011, we collected several inlet and outlet samples on the Gratix and continuously saw 90 to 95% reduction in zinc in the stormwater runoff. During that time, the only maintenance we conducted on the system was replacing the two-inch mulch layer on the surface. Now with uh, future systems, uh, we'll be doing that maintenance annually, and that's really the only maintenance uh, the system requires. But the Port of Vancouver doesn't stop there with their commitment to the health of the Columbia River. They are always looking for ways to reduce waste and keep the water clean. Well, here at the Port of Vancouver, we're always trying to do things just a little bit better for stormwater quality and reducing our impacts to the Columbia River. The Gratix is just one of those examples. Um, we've also taken that exact same concept and converted an old bioswale into a very large bioretention system at our Terminal 2 facility. 
That, that facility treats 50 acres of a marine terminal. Another project we're working on is the retrofitting of a detention stormwater pond. In this project, we'll be increasing the detention time of the stormwater as it flows through the system. We'll be adding additional plantings as well, which will in all provide more treatment to the stormwater before it enters the Columbia River. Now that you've seen how the Port of Vancouver works to keep the environment clean, here's the details of how to build your own Gradix. In the bottom of your tote, place 12 inches of 2 to 3 inch coarse drain rock. Next, install the perforated PVC under drain and cover with more drain rock. Place one layer of window screen material on top to prevent layers from mixing. Next, 6 inches of clean pea gravel and another layer of window screen. On top of that, place 20 inches of bioretention soil a mixture of 40% compost and 60% sand. Then you're ready for the plants. A selection of rushes and sedges will do well. Pop it off with 3 inches of bark mulch and place a splash block or large round cobbles for water dispersion and erosion prevention. For more information on the Port of Vancouver and their stormwater projects, contact the following. For more information on this innovative stormwater treatment BMP, Contact 416-870-1000.